Finding a suitable location in San Marcos caused a stir for months, but Texas State University's body farm is now settled in the Hill Country and is growing. Families are finding closure. Donations are opening up doors for students and offering hope for cold cases. KXAN's Erin Cargyle has the story from San Marcos. On the outskirts of San Marcos, where cactus are in full bloom, the Smith family is paying a visit to their son's final resting place. Just enjoy what the beauty here mm -hmm. to get close to Matt. It's the second time they've made the 1700 mile trip to the Freeman Ranch from their home in California since Matt Smith took his own life in February of 2009 at the age of 30. The police dispatcher couldn't live with chronic back pain anymore. There's always a smile or a laugh on his face. Always. The Forensic Anthropology Center at Texas State helped his parents and partner of 10 years fulfill Matt's final wish, donating his body to science. He liked to learn and he liked to teach, so he's doing a little bit of both. His body was buried on this 26-acre piece of land for a few months. Now his skeleton is one of 20 graduate students are studying. In this lab, they're learning how to estimate age. Last week, it was gender, and before that, ancestry. Creating a biological profile comes in handy when the scientists are called on to ID human remains. Back in 2008, the team assisted investigators at this home near Kerrville, where a murder victim was buried in his backyard. Based on their own decomposition studies in central Texas soil, students were able to determine how long the body had been there. They can see what happens to bodies in shade, for example, or in sun, buried, or in surface. The center has also spent the last year analyzing more than 25 skeletons from unsolved cold cases across the state and entering DNA into the National Missing Person Database. It may take us, you know, another few years, but what we're hoping to do is eventually identify all these people who are sitting on shelves and bring them home to their loved ones. Many of the remains found in the last five years were picked up in illegal crossing corridors on the Texas-Mexico border. Others were obvious murder victims, while some deaths remain a mystery. But it's the living donors who keep the program moving forward. I'm a donor myself. I've donated to this program as well, and that's kind of what I see myself doing. Is after I'm gone, still being able to contribute and be able to teach. There are around 60 on the list right now. The Smith's daughter and son-in-law have also signed up, and Matt's yeah. parents plan on doing it soon, Separate, so yeah. they can become a bobcat someday too. I bought Lynn, uh, uh, proud to be a Texas State University mom t-shirt, so. <laughs> and she wears it. <laughs> In San Marcos, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN, Austin News. Texas State just received a grant to help identify Hispanic remains. Right now, there are only remains of black and white origin in their collection. This program is always in need of donors of any ethnic background. And to find out how, go to our website right now at kxan.com. Look for this story under our local news tab.